Hey, this is Jeff, and we need to talk. Before I get started, I should tell you that I've been an outspoken supporter of equality, regardless of sexual identity, since long before the acronym LGBTQ was coined. I know, it's hard to believe, but yes, I'm that old. So anyway, my problem with LGBTQ obviously isn't the people or the cause, it's the acronym itself. It had one job, being inclusive, and epic fail. When I talked about gay rights in the 70s and 80s, I assumed people understood that included lesbians. But that's like saying the word mankind includes women. Some people are okay with it, some aren't. Not to mention that bisexual and transgender really weren't on most people's radar yet. Before we even had don't ask, don't tell, my catchphrase was, I have three words for anyone who says gays can't be effective military leaders. Alexander the Great. Of course, Alexander was bi, not gay. So in hindsight, the term gay rights definitely needed an update. Sometime in the late 80s or early 90s, we got LGBT and then LGBTQ. And that brings me to my first point. Enumeration inherently excludes anything or anyone outside the specified set. But in this case, there are outliers who face the same challenges as the enumerated members of the set. Some of those outliers don't care what it's called as long as there are other people on their side. But some of them feel marginalized. If we keep adding letters to represent every group who is ridiculed, oppressed, or persecuted because of their sexual identity, we'll end up with LGBTQAPI and eventually the whole alphabet. And there would probably still be people who felt excluded. Now, you could make the same case about the rainbow symbol. We've got the primary and secondary colors, but infrared and ultraviolet are invisible. And we don't even talk about those gamma rays and microwaves. The difference is, the colors in the rainbow don't explicitly represent individual identities. The letters in the LGBTQ acronym do. And yes, I realize it's technically an initialism, not an acronym, because we speak each letter in sequence rather than pronouncing it as a word. Which, if you've tried, and I have, it sounds like what you'd write as a caption for a comic book character who got throat punched. I know that recently some people have started using LGBTQ+, but that's like the first season of Gilligan's Island, when the theme song ended, the movie star, and the rest. Well, Don Wells and Russell Johnson were like, come on, man, we're the best characters. In the second season, they changed the theme song to say the movie star, the professor, and Mary Ann. But if they had added a cast member, they would have had to re-record it again. <laughs> it never came to that because it only ran for three seasons, but I think you see what I mean. And that brings me to my second point. Even if we cut it off at LGBTQ+, and assert that the plus includes everyone else, and shame on us if we do, for the same reasons gay rights or the movie star and the rest weren't adequate, it's still just cumbersome to say. It's six syllables, and the cadence is awkward. One good thing about gay rights was two syllables, and they flowed smoothly into each other. So what would I recommend? Well, unfortunately, this is a rare occasion when I'm willing to open a can of worms without offering a concrete alternative. I use LGBTQ most of the time. Sometimes when my motor skills are too impaired to get my tongue around all those syllables, I fall back on human rights, which is about as inclusive as it gets. Human rights, by definition, includes LGBTQ rights. The downside is it lacks focus when you want to discuss specific issues involving sexual identity. Hopefully, someone who's better than I am at marketing can come up with something that represents the cause, evokes the spirit of inclusion and equality, and rolls off the tongue. Well, that's about it. Uh, I won't be offended if you thumbs down this one for complaining without a solution, but sometimes I just need to vent. If you trust me to be more constructive next time, feel free to subscribe, and we'll talk again soon.